In this video, we are going to study about the water lobby. So yes, this is also uh, one of the effect and one of the uh, we can say uh, the because of this effect, uh, certainly the agricultural field is also affected. Even also, the discharge couldn't be taken properly. So water logging means what? Once the groundwater level increases or it is at a shallower depth below the ground surface level, and when we allow the free flooding on this uh, ground surface, so what happened exactly? Because of this shallower depth, soon the uh, uh, water will get uh, attached and water will get reached up to a ground surface level, and it could not uh, find out. A certain path to move downward direction or to flow in a downward direction. Mm. So what mm. happened because of this reason, the water will get accumulated on the ground surface. So in this phenomena, it's called as a water logging. So basically, what are the effects of water logging? Let's study. See, uh, inhibiting activity of a soil bacteria. Exactly. In uh, if you remember in first chapter of water resource engineering one we had studied the disadvantages of a irrigation also so once we provide the irrigation artificial supply but if the groundwater level is too closer to the ground surface area then the water logging will be formed in that particular region so because of the uh, continuously accumulation the ponding of this water uh, generally uh, develops uh, the bacteria and the breeding of a mosquitoes will be uh, produced then the decrease in available capillary water so definitely because of this water logging the capillary water which is available in the uh, beside and beneath the ground surface area the capillary zone that we had studied again in a water resource engineering one subject in a second chapter soil moisture irrigation relationship in that part, we have a three zones. So certainly above zone is a root zone. Second zone is a intermediate zone. And third one is the hygroscopic zone. That intermediate zone is also called as a, uh, sorry, hygroscopic uh, zone is also called as a capillary zone. So once we plant the uh, uh, that uh, crops on that uh, inclined section or a slopey area of that canal section, so because of that capillary action, it uh, extracts the water for their development. So here, because of this water logging, this capillary water will get reduced. It falls, uh, or the, it affects in a fall in a soil temperature. So temperature of that soil, when uh, some of the plants require the uh, respective soil temperature for their growth as well as so, so because of this water logging, continuously water locked area, the temperature of soil will make it fall down. Then defective air circulation, that is not the circulation in between the soil particles because of the submergence and because of the saturated uh, saturated zone which is developed into a soil voids and in soil pores. Then rise of a salt. So because of this water logging, the minerals that will be carried out with the water and as well as the uh, soluble minerals which is available uh, or which is already available in the groundwater table. So because of this, the salt will be, uh, the salt solution, the salt amount will be raised and uh, uh, the given surface will become an uh, infertile one or alkaline one. It's delay in a cultivation operation. So we cannot do the cultivation operation in such a waterlogged area. Growth of a wild flora. So definitely once uh, the plant which is, uh, uh, it is not usable and which is unwanted one. So that type of a plant will be, will uh, get a certain uh, circumstances or certain the what you say that the uh, uh, favorable atmosphere for their growth and this wild uh, plants will be uh, increased in that surface area and obviously uh, 
ultimately all this uh, waterlogged situation waterlogged phenomena will affect on the community community health also see because of this waterlogging yes the breeding of mosquito will be uh, occur and because of this mosquito so various danger diseases will be uh, occurred in the uh, surrounding area and that's why the health will be affected as well as this uh, uh, all the uh, area will be in a, a damper and colder state so again the health will be affected so this these are the effects of a water logging so these are not a, a good effects these are obviously bad effects so we should control this water logging sometimes it is very useful but uh, most of the time it is very dangerous for our health also for other other parameters also yes so basically in what ways that water logging will be caused so the basically inadequate surface drainage when there is a, a the less capacity of the surface drainage is available so is uh, cap drainage capacity is very lesser so in that situation the water logging will be occurred then the seepage from the canal system yes the seepage loss that will be occurred in the canal system when the canal is excavated in the alluvial soil or a non alluvial soil so definitely the seepage losses will be occur there and because of this seepage rate of the water this uh, groundwater level will be increased which is very useful and which is very uh, what do you say that uh, which is very important to uh, to take a, or a, when we need to uh, extract the some of the uh, that is well then uh, aquifer so through this well and aquifer we can extract the water we can use this water but uh, so continuously seeping uh, rate of that water it will lead to this water logging area over irrigation of a field then obstruction of a natural drainage then obstruction uh, or obliteration of a natural drainage that is improper maintenance of this uh, natural drainage inadequate capacity for arterial drainage construction of a water reservoir natural obstruction to the flow of a ground water so once there is a natural obstruction will be occurred in between the ground surface and the ground water table uh, path so certainly the water logging will be caused how we can prevent this water logging so yes by providing the efficient surface drainage we should control this water logging under the drainage by tile drains once we uh, provide the tile drains under the drainage system definitely we should overcome this water logging problem reducing the percolation from the canals so definitely we need to do the lining for this canal section so we should control the seepage rate and seepage loss and then definitely we control uh, we should control the water logging problem restriction of irrigation so we should restrict the irrigation we uh, should adopt the uh, adequate method for the supply of a water so free flooding wild flooding then flooding uh, technique should be uh, omitted and the drip irrigation sprinkler that part and that uh, adequate method should be adopted lining water courses exactly removing obstruction in a natural drainage so once there uh, if there is a obstruction in the path so we need to remove it prevention of seepage from the water reservoir again depletion of ground water storage by pumping so yes like i had said you once the ground water if the ground water level is so uh, too closer to the ground surface level so yes there is a, a good symptoms so that we can extract the number of cells number of uh, aquifers in that particular region so because of this level we can pump this water and we can extract this water for our use so somewhere you can see there there are uh, hand pumps are there in the villages as well as some of the uh, wells are constructed aquifers are constructed so by pumping this uh, we should uh, decrease the ground water level so that the water will get the path to flow downward fast 
changes in a crop pattern so uh, because of this uh, also see uh, if we took a uh, same crop uh, in the same tree so this soil fertility will get to decrease but what happened uh, the water requirement uh, the requirement of the water which is uh, given to that particular crop so it will be differ when we use the crop pattern so we have to choose the various and we have to take the uh, different different crops in our field then adoption of the sprinkler method for irrigation definitely so it uh, it reduces the water logging problems and definitely uh by using if we implement all these measures all this method definitely we can say that we should control uh the water logging problem thanks for watching this video